Welcome back everyone! Oh god, there's a rat on the streets. How did I not see this? Anyhow, welcome back everyone to the Funny Bunny Asian channel! So yeah, welcome back guys. Um, definitely I am back with the always sometimes monsters. I know it's been a week now that uh, <clears throat> I haven't got foot onto this game, but we are definitely back and we're gonna find a way to continue where we left off. At least maybe the mail's here. Let's go check the mail! Oh no, not 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 this guy again. Whoa, deadbeat! You look even more shit than normal. The curb now teach you to pay your bills. Oh, it's not my fault that you have to be an angel. <clears throat> I'm just here to get the mail and stuff out of my apartment, and then I'm gone. Ha, huh, yeah, right. You still owe me from last month's rent, so I'm gonna hold on to those ratty old clothes and the appliances for a while. I know, a guy who will pay top dollars for all those. Jesus, man, you got issues. Ugh, that's too gross. <clears throat> if you ever find those cash, get your key back, and your stuff will be waiting for you. What a dick. Who am I kidding? A deadbeat like you paying rent? Ha 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 ha. Don't make me laugh. Oh, yeah? Before I forget. When I was in there cleaning the place up for you showings, I came across something I think you probably would want to hang on to. You know, to remind of all the days before your life turned to absolute... <coughs> ha 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 ha. Good luck, deadbeat. You are a complete asshole. Sorry guys, about my language. <laughs> uh, I am not going to miss that guy. Neither am I, Julian. Well, let's see what's in the mail today. A wedding invitation. We're getting married! Join us in San Fernando's historic Chase Chapelle for a night of the celebration. We join hands in the holy monotony and say our vows. <laughs> what? What the fuck? Buffy Jr.? What? Buffy Jr.'s getting married? I thought he was with this chica. You're without me? Not even a year? And you've already moved on? What? More than that, you're getting married? It's at the end of the month. Jesus Christ, Buffy Jr. Damn you, Buffy Jr. I thought we were together. No, I can't get angry. I can't get upset. We broke up. He can do whatever he wants. Yeah, that's right. Why the heck would you invite me, though? To Sembrando's? No less. I love the place, but goddamn, that's cold. Are you testing me? What do you want? Well, at least my check is finally here. I could do some with some extra cash right now. You open the letter from Larry. You receive a published check. Two hundred fifty. What the heck, Larry? This was supposed to be a thousand. Oh shoot! Something's gone really, really wrong here. I need to give Larry a call pronto. You copy down Larry's phone number. I need the money. I'll make it rain, make it rain with hot cold cash. There's no way I'll be able to get to him before the wedding. All right, I guess I have to give Larry a call, guys. Give him, let him see who's boss. This beautiful chick out here. Let's give Larry a call. Ring, 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 ring. The hello, Larry Hunter speaking. What the heck, Larry? I thought we had a deal. What the heck happened? Hey, Julian! I've been expecting your call. 250? What the heck can I live off that? What happened to the rest of the money? Larry! You know that contract you signed for us that said we would pay you so long as you produce us a book? That little paper back you were supposed to finish drafted ages ago. Is it ringing any bells? Well, that contract states that if the guys upstairs aren't happy with the output, they can pull the plug. I guess they're exercising their rights. <clears throat> Come on, I'm almost done, I promise. I just give me another week. We did that like 20 times already. I had to say it, kid, but you were a bad pick. I made a mistake, and now my butt is roasting just as much as yours is right now. My butt isn't roasting, it's goddamn freezing. I slept in a 
found an alleyway last night, Larry. Sure, I'm sorry to hear that, Julian. I understand this is business, though, right? I mean, <clears throat> you understand this is business, though, right? We don't just hang out. Oh, we don't just fuck. God dang it. Why is it so fast? This guy is upstairs, said I made a bad bet and decided that enough was enough. I'm sorry, but even if I wasn't pissed that you put my career in jeopardy with your laziness, there's nothing I can do about it. So what now? What do you mean, we're done? I had to fight to get you the check you're holding now, Julian. There's nothing left for you. No, that can't be. Please, for the love of God, don't do this. I need the money. I need to get to San Verandado. San Verandado? What the heck are you going to do all the way across the country? Buffy Jr.'s getting married. Ah, it's all starting to make sense now. You really miss him, huh? Alright, fine, I'll help you out. I'm a sucker for a good romantic story. But you gotta make this count. Alright, that's what I'm talking about. What's the deal? Tell me, I'll do it. Get on the next bus out of Dubstown and come meet me in Beton. I've got an odd job I need someone to help me take care of. You can stay at my place for a bit if you need to, but you're going to have to get here on your own. It's on the way uh, to San Verando. I know you don't have the money for a flight, so don't even be to me about that. What's the catch? The, that journal of yours? The one you write in every night before you go to bed? At the end of the month, I want it. Whatever is in there, I'm salvaging and turning it into something we can sell, even if I have to type it all out myself. Belinda's going to lose her head if I lose this job, and you already owe me plenty. Fine, that's fair enough, I guess. I'll keep writing in the journal and you'll get it at the end of the month, we can do that. Great, then we got a deal. Except for one glaring problem, Larry. I don't have any money for a bus ticket. Damn it. Do I have to do everything for you? <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to lose my temper. I'll make a few calls after you hang up. By the time you finish breakfast, there should be a work for you. Patrick over the Daily News Times, always on the lookout for decent freelancers. And we go way back, so any recommendation I give is golden. High Run Ad Agency used to do our marketing, but I heard though the great Tim, they're in a bit of a jam after losing their lead copywriter. I'll set up both meetings for you. Just go wherever you like. And do a good job. Don't make me regret this. Don't worry, I won't. See you in a few days. Sweet. What now? What am I supposed to do now? Going back in? Look inside the box. There's nothing there. Can I go back upstairs? Yay! Can I go back into my room? What? Wait, no. I am not gonna check that dude. Yeah. Wait, was it this one? Wait, which one's my room? I'm pretty sure I'm the end, right? I won't be able to get in. Uh, no, I'm not looking. Should I, should I check what's Mr. Twinglinger doing over there? Nobody's answering. What, Mr. Twinglinger? Okay, I'm going back down then. Okay. So, what am I supposed to do now? I need at least 500 to get... Okay, so how much money do I have? What? I only have 165? That's ridiculous. That is ridiculous. So... Let's see. Bank card. National Bank doesn't support. Okay, so... Right. <sighs> okay. Okay, guys. Uh, where am I supposed to go? I guess I'll go to the grocery. Hmm. Let's see here. My bank. Please enter your... Pen. What is my pen? I don't even know my pen. Oh my god. What is my pen? This is ridiculous. 
journal page. Oh, derp. One, 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 nine. One, 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 nine. One, 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 nine. Welcome, Julian. Checking balance. Oh, well, 13. I'll deposit. Uh, shoot, I only have 100, so I'm gonna deposit 100. Deposit accepted. Okay. <clears throat> I'll exit. Thank you for unregistering. So I need a job. Hmm. Wait, wasn't this area under construction the other day? A bus. I guess I'll check out what's in for me for the bus. Where would you like to go today? Uh, there's nowhere I can go. Oh, Dubstown, Beaton. Uh, I'm already in Dubstown, so there's nothing I can do <clears throat> here. Let's see. Oh, there's a shaggy bus! Oh. And there's a pigeon on the end of the road. Okay, there's not, nothing here. Let's just keep going. That's the hospital. Okay, what's this? Impossible futures? Impossible futures stay here. Close for a field trip. Alright then. Employment center. Oh, that's what I want to see. Hmm. Looks like a place I'll uh, hire just about anyone. Too bad they're close. Oh my god, really? And just when I thought I had an idea. What the? Marketing high. High expenses, hospital. Might as well check it out here. Whoa! <clears throat> Is that the boss? Maybe I, I have to talk to the boss. Hey, eh, what the? I'm saying we can't let the client hear about this. They're going to go with those idiots at Kutch and Wolfram. Sorry, business talk, pal. We've... If you don't need something, go talk to Bill. He'll short you out. Anyway, you catch the game last night. Fine, I'll, I'll, I think that's the boss, right? And that's the boss. Jim, I had to let him go. <clears throat> I can't have that kind of ridiculous insubordination on my hands right now. Sorry, we're not talking walk-ins today. If you need something, Belly should be able to help you. I don't know, Jim, what would you do? Honestly, you should have heard about this lunatic. Ooh. Hey, are they using a MacBook? Oh my god, they're using Macs! That's so cool, guys. That is cool. Who is Belly? Hello? Oh, I didn't see you there. <laughs> Please! If you need Belly, will be able to help you. He's the fellow with the big mustache. Over by the photocopper. Oh, mustache! Hello? Hey, sorry, we're super busy today. We don't really have time for drop-in clients. Actually, my name is Julian. I was told you guys might have some work for me. Oh, you must be the kid Larry called us about. We're in a bit of a crisis mode at the moment and could really use your help. Yeah, he said something about your copywriter leaving. Yeah, I guess you could say that. He was fired. Oh, what happened? We had a meeting yesterday and Jack kind of flew off the handle for no apparent reason. At least not one we could understand anyway. He's been displaying some odd behavior over the past few months, but this was dramatically uncharacteristic. It would be exceedingly uncomfortable, not to mention dangerous, to keep him around. Dangerous? What did he do? Well, it all started after he got back from his vacation late last year. Before then, Jack had always been an asset to the company, but something changed. <clears throat> he kept talking about how nothing we were doing was right, and how we were messing with the natural order of things with our work. What? At first we chalked it up of some of the liberal hippie nonsense, but as time went on, he grew increasingly hostile to everyone around him. Nobody knew how to deal with him. Even the simplest request started to the fight. It was like he was trying to sabotage the company. It was our meeting yesterday about the pitch. You're here to work on that. Finally pushed Sylvian over the edge and got him canned, though. 
He just started yelling about how we were poisoning people's mind and how none of our BS mattered. It was kind of scary. Yeah, I think I would be pretty scared actually. The kicker was when he told us we needed to reevaluate our lives <clears throat> and that nobody would care if some scum s salesman wound up with a bullet in them. He said it all while staring straight at Suvalian with the most sinister glance. It was really gave everyone the creeps. Suvalian had to fire Jack on the spot and he just stormed out more furious than ever. None of us knew what to say. That sounds intense. Oof, boy, tell me about it. Anyway, that's a long and short we need your help. Why, oh yeah, sorry guys. We can't prepare this pitch for tomorrow without a writer. Jack's desk is over there with all the campaign notes ready for you. If you're set and start, I'll get you s suited with a cup of coffee. It's going to be a long night. The final draft for the presentation is due tomorrow, and we're pulling overtime to get her finished. So you ready to start? Let's get to work! Let's get down to business. Excellent. Follow me. Uh, where am I? Just what? I need another boring desk job. Looks like they've written out a task sheet for me. Complete the ad story. Should I write this down? <coughs> Shit. Give me a second, guys. I'm gonna write this down. Okay. Okay, complete. Complete the ad copy. Alright, let's do this. Ouch. Okay. Sounds easy enough. Guess I better get started. Alright, it looks like we're doing an ad for Island Buzz Soda. This should be easy enough. I need to pick a catch headline. A vacation in your mouth. <laughs> the Caribbean canned. Get buzzing, mon. It's a natural laxative. I like the I like that one. It's a natural laxative. Yes, I guess that works. Island buzz soda. It's a natural laxative. All right. Now I've got to flash out all the body text. Mm -hmm. I need to pick a featured to highlight and write about that. Hmm. Authentic island flavor. All natural ingredients made in the Caribbean. Made from coconut milk. Hmm. I like. Uh, I like all natural ingredients. Uh, authentic island flavor sounds nice too. What do you guys think? Any, meeny, miny, mo. Which one should I choose, yo? Okay, I'm gonna choose all natural ingredients. With 12 all natural ingredients, Island Bustle is a heel. Their alternative to your run on the milk cola. I could really go for a cola right now. Almost done. Now I just need something killer to close it off with. We need a big claim to hooker the reader. Fewer calories, lots of vitamin C, improves complexion. Coloscope is recommended. What the? Fewer calories, lots of vitamin C. Yeah. I honestly don't know what buzzing is, but it sounds great. Oh god. Alright. Looks like it's all done. Island Buzz Soda. It's a natural laxative. With 12 all ingredients, Island Buzz Soda is a heel and alternative to your run of the mill cola. Packed with vitamin C, one of one can of the Buzz Kill Soda will help you keep buzzing straight through the day. I guess that sounds pretty good. I like it. Nonsense. Wasting any more time on this? It's as good as it's going to get. Now, I just need to find where Jack kept his stapler. Not quite done with the copy yet. I don't think they'd take kindly of me slacking off while they're all buckling down for this deadline. Ah, stapler, stapler, where are you? 
There you are, paper clips. Oh, what? Oh, newspapers. Box of handgun ammo. Aha, stapler. Wait, what? What would Jack have an empty box of handgun ammo in his desk for? Oh, shit. Tell Belly. Hey, Belly, can you come here for a second? Hey, Julian. How's everything's going? The writing's fine. Why does Jack have an empty box of handgun animation in his desk? He does? Jesus, I knew that guy liked to go hunting in the summer, but there's no reason he should have that here. I don't... you don't think... no, he wouldn't. I'm sure there's a perfectly rational explanation for this. Just don't worry about this for now, okay? Thanks for bringing it to my attention, though. Do me a favor and just keep quiet with you. Everyone is already panicked enough about this. Oh. If you're sure, if you're sure, the last thing I want to do is freak people out. Sounds like everyone's already pretty high strung. Thanks. I promise I'll make sure this gets looked after. I just have to figure out how to bring this up delicately. Oh man, this situation here is a lot more dire than I thought. I gotta get my work done quick and get the heck out of here. There we go, all stapled up. Just need to find a add copy folder and I can leave. Not quite done. Okay, where's a blasted folder? What's this, a book? No, it looks like s some sort of play. Seems neat. You know, I'm gonna say find the folder, I don't have time for that. I, I don't want to stay in this creepy little place here where some maniac's gonna start shooting people. I gotta find that blasted folder. There you are. Time to hand this off to the art department and get the heck out of this madhouse. Yay! Wait. Oh, that scared the heck out of me. Alright. Let's look. Wait, why can't I move? There we go. I can't leave yet. Where's the art department? Uh, photocopier. Hey, wait. Ah, oh, God. Dingus Dungus. Let me out of here. Sir? Please get the heck out of my office. Oh, okay. What the heck? What am I supposed Is it you? Can't you see I'm busy? Belly's head of the department for a reason. Go bug him instead. So did you figure out what you wanted to do about the uh, inventory and just desk? Well, I've thought about it a lot. There's no way Jack would do that. He must have just had the box left over for some weekend he went hunting. I mean, let's face facts. The guy was a bit weird, but that doesn't mean we would assume him the worst. Heck, even he was just the kind of guy I don't think making a big fuss about an unlikely possibility is the right move. I'm going to bring this up to Sylvian though, so don't worry. Let's just try to carry on today without thinking about this. Give me the willies. If you say so. Uh, just so you know, I'm getting the heck out of here as quickly as I can. I can... S let's finish this up fast. Here's the final copy for the ad. I guess you guys add art to it or something now. Am I finished? Well, not quite. Lee and I need to apply some art to it, and then it needs to be approved by Roger and Darius. They're our sales team, and they kind of run the show in terms of what gets before clients. Sylvian still gets final say, but their opinion matters a lot. Oh man, there's a lot of reading, guys. I'll get Ling started on the sketches. You take text over to Roger and Darius for their approval in the meantime. You should be done by then. Uh, they finished ripping you work apart. Ripping my work apart? Sounds fun. Anything to get this process moving, I guess. Hey, before you do, uh, before you go, do you mind if I ask you one question? It's about Jack. Sure, shoot. I know most people here think Jack was a pretty radical guy, but the truth is he never really did anything to hurt me. I was never really friends with the guy or anything. He was really, really hard to approach. Still, I regret not trying a little harder while he was here. I was thinking of giving him a phone call to offer my condolence. You think it's worth a while or would he 
just bite his head thinking I'm teasing him. Oh boy. Oh man. It's a phone call. No difference to me. Oh shh. Ah. Oh god, this is. Is he gonna get killed if he doesn't make the phone call? You know what? I'm I'm gonna nice guy. Give him a phone call. At the end of the day, it's just a phone call. If he can't see that you're trying to be friendly, then what of it? Yeah, at least you tried. You're probably right. Who knows what Jack's like outside of the office? It could have just been this environment gets down. down. I'll give him a ring. Right. So, am I done here? I can't leave yet. What? What am I supposed to do? Hey Julian, what can I do for you? Nothing much, I guess. Just felt like chatting. Me too. But I'm swapped right now. Maybe catch you later. What am I supposed to do? Well, well, writer girl's finally ready to show off her work. All right, let's have a look at what you got. It's bound to be better than Jack's crap. I am right. Ha, huh, good one. Let's see. Island Buzz Soda. It's a natural laxative. Natural laxative girl. What? Yo, Roger, check this kid. She's a joker for sure. I've got half a mind to let it pass just to see Sylvian's face. Yeah, man, he'll flip his shit. Let's let let's let it roll. Yeah, I like this kid way better than Jack. What do you say, kid? You cool or what? Uh, sure. If you say so, I guess so. Girl. Where your damned, where's your damn confidence? Don't tell me you're another square like Jack. Right. Well, now that you're done approving the header, can I go? Yeah, I guess. Jesus, your writer types are all the same. Always trying to get in and out of the job as quick as possible. Where's your damn company spirit? Yeah, man, she's just like Jack. All the same, bro, all the same. You know, I bet that scumbag Jack is probably trying to get a job with our competition right now. I'll be damned before I- oh fuck. I've got a half of mind to send word to everyone. I know telling them that this bastard will ruin them if given the chance. You think that put him in his place? What do you say, cool kid? Is it payback time or what? Should we let that bastard roast? Oh my god. Whatever you want, dude. Whatever's gone. If you want to turn this battle into a full-on war, go right ahead. There's no telling what that or not that would do if you got around. Then again, who gives a shit? I'll give another thought. So am I done or what? Can I go wrap this up? Yes, please? Whoa, not so fast. I said you're clear, but Roger ain't Sid squad. You gotta get both our approval. We're a team and shit, right bro? Wolfpack! <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's have a look, Psy body text. Don't want to find out you snuck in any of the hippie BS like Jack was always yammering on about. Yeah, man, writers are all hippies. You got her pegged, bro. Alright, let's see. So our natural ingredients, island buzz soda is a healthier alternative to your run on milk cola. All natural? Yeah, that sounds good shit, I guess. You hippies eat the dagger shit, you mad bro? Jesus, look at these wordings. Too bad they're all broke as hell. Seriously though, the client love that. Alright, cool. This'll be fine. It's not like anyone actually reads anyway. No offense, but reading is for nerds. Excuse me? Excuse me? You're not a nerd, right? I don't know. I don't know. I don't even know what you mean. It's pretty simple question, girl. Whatever, though. You seem fine. Just don't go geeking up the office. We gotta retain some class around here. Yeah, so am I done now? Well, you're cleared by me, I guess. You're pretty smart, though. So let me ask you a question while you're here. Jack was really embedded in our company, like he knows every dirty little secrets we got. That's a huge risk for our professionally if he decides to talk. Thankfully, I'm in charge of our client role. Why is he telling me this? Let him know he's a nutter. 
you think it's worth my time giving our client a call to let them know about Jack having a few screw loose? It'd give us a little distance if we he talked. That's a little paranoid. You know, it's none of my business. If you're looking for advice on client relations, I'm the last person you want to ask. I can barely manage my regular relations. Heh, <laughs> I figured as much. Don't know what I was thinking of asking a doofus like you. I'll just have to figure this out on my own. Yeah, you do that. Alright, you're free to go. I guess it's time to get Lane to slap her new... Ah. <laughs> Dude, I was on it. <laughs> She's the cute blondie one over the desk. Alright, I think it's her. Roger and Darius actually liked your stuff. Color me impressed. Those guys are have really high standards. They were always giving Jack crap while he was here. But I, can real, I can't really blame him. That guy was nuts. Personally, I'm glad Jack got fired. I can't quite put my finger on it, but something about him has always felt a little bit pervy to me. Every time I turned around, he was looking straight at my desk and would turn away almost immediately. It gave me the creeps, like you wouldn't believe. I want to tell him off forever to let him know that he didn't have a shot. <laughs> the package just would have been too much before he left the office. Now that he's gone, I can confront him without the BS, but I guess I don't know if I was just reading the situation wrong or not. What do you think? Sounds creepy, actually. That sounds pretty creepy. You can't let guys like that get away with it, though. Who knows what they'll do next. I tear him a new one. Well, you can. He never really did anything, but just thinking about it must have gone through a little mind. Gets me so mad! I'll tear him a new one, alright. Right, uh, where's the sketch? Would you like me to... Would you mind taking it to civilian for the final approval for me? I've got tons of more before I can leave. Yeah, sure. I guess it'll be good to show some a little initiative. Great, here you go. He's probably in the office grabbing away on the phone. Sweet! Okay, guys. Alright, guys. Uh, I think this video has lasted really, really long. I'm not sure how long has it been, but obviously, I did not expect this video to last this long. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna pause and the video right here, right now, and uh, I'll definitely continue. Always, sometimes, monsters at the next video. So um, thank you so much, guys, for watching my video, and I'll see you guys at the next video. Ciao, ciao.